What's everybody? Tian Kim here with Soya Quilting. Now, a lot of us have fabric from collections that we don't have the entire thing, maybe just a couple pieces of it. That is why we've made this video today. We're gonna show you how you make this quilt behind us only using four yards of fabric. Let's get started. First and foremost, when you are doing a quilt that requires not very many different variations of fabric, color matters. As you can see here behind me, we went ahead and used a blue purple combo and then a red white combo. And for the tutorial, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This is Midas Touch, has a little bit of metallic in it. And we're thinking about doing those two will be sewn together, which will make our center pieces. And then our snowballs, this dark and light contrast combination there. Before we get started on anything, we're gonna iron this thing out. We wanna iron out all of our pieces, that way we know we're starting with a really nice fabric to work with. So, I'm gonna do that. At this point, we're gonna focus on these two pieces here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut six and a half inch strips off of these pieces here. Also, if you have a Vega strip, you can make it this video a little bit more scrappy if you wanted to using this method. I'm going to just zip. Now guys, this piece right here is gonna be considered waste. However, it is big enough that if you wanted to produce a scrappy binding for this, you could. It's time to subcut them. Subcutting is very simple on this project. We are gonna cut them down to six and a half inch rectangles. Just like so. And I'm going to continue this process. Last but not least, and guys, if you do it correctly, that is the waste of your strip. Almost nothing. That right there is my stack of blues. Now, not to bore you guys, I'm gonna do this whole thing in green next. So guys, went ahead and cut down my two colors here and committed to that color palette there. Now we're gonna go on to these ones here. Now, we need to cut seven two and a half inch strips off of the white and off of the darker blue here. From those seven, we're gonna cut them down to two and a half inch squares, which will end up being like 112 or something like that. So both the white and the blue, and then we'll move on to the snowballing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting and uh, we'll be right back. Now guys, the rest of this piece here, which is about half a yard, or maybe a little bit less, we're gonna set aside because that will eventually become the sashing if you choose to sash. And we're going to make these into two and a half inch squares. One stack of two and a half inch squares. I chopped this up into two and a half inch squares. And I'm going to rinse and repeat for the white. And again, guys, this piece will be used for our sashing or our borders if you choose to do that. So guys, at this point, we've got our two and a half inch squares, we've got a ton of them. We've got our three and a half by six and a half inch rectangles. Now it's time to start snowballing these. Now, something that's always important in quilting is placement of your blocks. If you look back at this, all the blue ones are exactly the same, all the purple ones are exactly the same, and they have an orientation, that way we can achieve this look on our quilt. So, to make sure we're gonna achieve that perfectly, First, I need to draw a diagonal line from this top left corner to the bottom right corner on all of my white ones and all my blue ones. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and then we'll start placing our snowballs to make sure they're perfect. Now that I've gone ahead and marked my two and a half inch squares, I'll flip that one over so you guys can see it. It's now time to start matching them to my six and a half by three and a half inch strips or rectangles here. So I've got four blocks there, four of those there. So I'm gonna put that one in that corner, put this one in this corner, do the same thing to my white. That right there is what the block center will look like, which then means this will have a white half square triangle here and I'm gonna just make sure that I get this right my very first time. So, at this point, what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna sew directly across these lines here. I'm gonna cut them off, and then I'll open them up to give myself that final reveal here. Got my first one sewn, and go ahead and do all four of them. Okay. 
Now it's time to trim these all up. I'm gonna trim one quarter inch away from the seam. Now I'm gonna go ahead and iron these open. And again, always ironing to the dark side since I do have lights and darks here. So guys, at this point, I'm gonna sew this piece to this piece, this piece to this piece, which will give us actually the finished block that we're looking for. Throw that one here, same thing here. And now guys, at this point, before we go ahead and finish up our quilt block here, you still have options with the center pieces here. You can rearrange them however you like. Additionally, you can also swap these and so that the colors on color if you wanted to, or like we have it in our pattern, you can also swap them so that they're alternating. Whatever you like to do, that's up to you on your guys' end. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up sewing this beautiful quilt block. Boom, that's a good looking block. Just like that, our quilt block is finished. Now, it's not a complex block. Obviously, it's gonna take a little bit of work to get this placement all right and the cutting, but it's super simple, easy. It's one of those just repetitive blocks that you can do over and over and over again. From here, you make more of these blocks, put them all together, and you can sash them however you like. We went ahead and did a two and a half inch sashing for both the first and second borders. Now if I'm going to finish up this quilt here, how I would sash it is I would reverse these. I would put my white on the inside and then my darker uh, purple color on the outside of my quilt. But that's just me. Everyone has their own opinions on how to do things and their color combinations. In addition to that, something that's really huge that you need to recognize always is that when you're using four pieces of fabric, the difference in look is extreme. You can see how this beautiful block here looks with the metallic and all from this Midas Touch collection. Looks completely different than the one directly behind me with some of that Lori Holt in there as well. And with that guys, we hope you've enjoyed this week's tutorial. In addition to that, if you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't be afraid to share it with your friends. In addition to that, we have this huge goal to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year and we are so close to doing that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Lastly, guys, down in the description below, we have a free PDF download pattern for this quilt. That way you can download it at home and then go at your own pace. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.